Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Miyuki and this is Let's Make Art and we letter a new project together every week. And this is a fun one that I suggest go and grab your kids. If you have kids, go and grab any friends. We're going to be making something a little different. We're making leaf letters. Little fun different project. And thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful project. <laughs> oh, it is. Well, because your name's there. That's true. <laughs> so we're doing leaf letters. Like I said, this is a fun one for kids because we're going to be using our Crayola Super Tips. Um, the supplies that I suggest to gather are grab any of your colors that you'd like. The ones that I'm going to be using are. Keenan's going to name them. Oh, I actually, okay, if you don't say anything, I know what to call that. But you might call me out. That's wrong. It goes cinnamon red. Hmm. Well, I was going to say, it kind of looks like Dr. Pepper. Oh, snap. But it's kind of like a in-between. You're right. Am I right? It's a little brown. Yeah, it's a little brown. I'm just going to, I'm going to stick with the cinnamon. Okay, cinnamon. cinnamon. Starburst red. Yeah. You know? This orange is crush orange. Orange crush orange. What did I I call it something else? You might have called that starburst orange. I think I did. You copied me. I copied you. That one looks like a rust. Golden honey. Oh you yeah. called it rust. I called it rust. Honey. Yeah. Yeah. And brown. And brown. Chocolate brown. Like a milk chocolate. Mm, yeah. The best kind. Let us know what you would call these colors because it's always fun. Um, but you know what's funny? I realized, Keenan, I forgot when I did this, there's actually colors on the back. On the box? <laughs> on the box. So this is the way the Crayola Super Tips come. There's actually colors. But the thing is that I've said this before, there's no numbers on here. So in reality, I mean, this is brown. So this is brown if we want to be technical. I'm a, I think this is light brown. This is orange. This is red. That's maroon. Maroon. I like, I like We make cinnamon. better color names than Crayola. <laughs> um, I also realized that on the pack, on the handout, if you guys have a box or this kit, I didn't even um, write greens. So you can add, if you want to add a fun green, it's like lime green. Sorry, I realize you won't have room. Oh, well. Ooh, I love that color. Olive. Olive. Um, okay, so those are the pens fake out. One more pen in the middle. We are using, doesn't look as cool when it's like that. We're using a gold paint pen. So this one is the Pen Touch by Sakura of America. Um, and I will go over how to use this if you've never started to use a paint pen before. Then paper. Bristol paper is what the final project, that's what these leaves are actually made on, so Bristol paper. I also suggest to have graphite paper, and the reason why is that we are going to be transferring the template onto your Bristol paper, so I have graphite paper. If you have our box with us and you can't find it, it's in your Let's Make Art Matter sleeve um, that has the recipients and then the cards on the back. So that's in there, it's a little hidden gem. And then I'd suggest have some water and a brush. So if you have a small round brush, or this is, I'm gonna be using the round six, doesn't really matter what size, but I will show you how you can blend. So we're gonna do that. And then painter's tape might help or some type of tape. Okay, oh, scissors. There was a lot of supplies in this one. Okay, B steps are, there are seven different steps, so this one has a lot more. But they are, first one, a practice worksheet. Step two is graphite paper to transfer the template. Step three is the Crayola Super Tips. We're gonna color it in. Step four is I'm gonna show you how to use water, called it water magic. And we're gonna blend them together. It might be hard to see. Maybe on this one, if you can zoom in. You can't see the pencil or the marker lines. That's awesome. Because it's blended. It looks like Jesse's name is just like Sarah and Jesse's name. Well, all of the names now look like they're just thrown on there. Yeah, because they're on top of it. Yeah, they pop. They pop. And they're gold. Um, and gold. 
That so water magic was four. Five is going to be the gold paint pen. And then six is I'm going to show you the little shadows on her, their name so that it pops a little bit more. Step seven is cut the leaves and enjoy. Okay. Leave our, this is our little, well, a few of our team members. Well, let's make our family. <laughs> Keenan, you all know Keenan. Sarah Cray, Jesse, who's on our creative team, and Helen. Helen is one of our awesome customer service gals. Um, some of you might have talked to her. She's great. She is great. Keenan's okay. I didn't say anything about you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I said they know you. Everyone knows Keenan. Keenan's great. He's in the back. He's the best. Okay, practice worksheet. So I created this worksheet to kind of challenge you. Um, lettering, you can just go on autopilot and just draw the way you might normally write. Um, I created this worksheet to show you something that's a little bit different. And this is also something cool that the kids can do um, is draw one, oops, draw one letter inside each square and try and take up the full amount of it. So I'm not doing my script lettering. I'm actually just going to do block lettering. So I am filling in, it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just going to fill in all of these. And then you can do that exercise, fill that in. The next step, which is the second one, the second section, is do the same thing. And so you will start to notice, or I'm going to tell you what you're looking for and what's happening, is that as we go down, I'm going to do the next section, you will notice that the width of these letters aren't changing. So they're not getting wider or bigger because all of these lines are parallel in the same lines. They simply are getting taller because all of these are taller. So this is a trick to think about if you keep going with this when you have long names. So for example, Keenan's name, I could have fit like this, but it might not have fit. So what I did was I just extended it and kind of played with it a little bit more. Same for Sarah's name. But you'll notice the A, I couldn't have done my A like this and have it be like that. I needed to extend it to make it a little bit taller. And so this is kind of a visual play that you can experiment to see if you like. It's, a, it's kind of a style. Um, you might not always want to use it, but that's something that you can experiment with. Um, the other lesson that I wanted to tie into this is when you're looking at the structure of letters, um, especially, let's see, I'm going to do the A's. I'm going to do A's here. And I'm going to do the middle one. So what I'm going to look at is the crossbar. So the crossbar is the horizontal line that goes through the A, the E, and the F. So I'm going to mix it up. And so really slightly, you can see that all I did was I changed where in the A the crossbar went, and that creates a completely different look. So for example, on Sarah's, I, um, the crossbars are really low. So even on the H, it's low, whereas on Keenan's name, it's more in the middle. So it's in the middle on the E's and on the A. You can't tell because these are in cursive. So this is something stylistically that you can look at and then you can play with. Um, if I were, let's, let me draw Sarah's name. It makes the A's look like they just have really long legs. This one? Yeah, when it's high up. Yeah. They look like giraffes. Um, so if I were to do the opposite and I drew it really high, I would think about also is maybe on her, on her R right here, I kind of had it be the same height, whereas what if I made the R, the hump of the R really small? Matched that. Like that. So that just looks like a completely different style. So those are small changes that you can make to make these all different to, not necessarily a different 
to match certain people's personalities, but just a fun way to mix it up. Um, so you feel empowered to think that I can make it this different. So that's what this practice worksheet is for. So those two things that you can take a look at. Now we are going to transfer our template. So this template, um, if you don't have our box or our kit, you can actually get this template for free on our website at letsmakeart.com. And so I'm going to use transfer paper, um, graphite paper. So what you do is you put the dark side down, you put this over. Oh, I wanted to say, Heidi gave me this great tip. So this will come a lot cleaner, but you'll have all these fold lines. So she gave me the trick to crinkle it up. And so it kind of gets rid of those harsh lines that when you first get it. And so the idea is that it won't get all over. It still might, but it's okay. Um, you're just taping this down. So I'm gonna trace over it. Um, you can either use a pencil or I'm actually gonna see how this works with a marker. So I'm gonna see how much pressure this works. Yeah, so this works. So I'm gonna use, I'm using a marker. If you use either a ballpoint pen or something that has a really pointed tip, um, it, you might create a really dark line, which isn't okay. It's, it's actually okay on this one because we're gonna cut it out on that line. So it's not that big of a deal. But we're going to zoom on for me to trace this. done let's well not done <laughs> so if you guys can see well I might be able to make it work um, I didn't press hard enough on this particular leaf and also I tried Heidi's trick and I'm gonna go back and ask her and see how to do it because I don't think I did it right because you can kind of see a little bit of the lines from the graphite um, but let us know if it worked for you I'm gonna go back over, so this one's really light, so I'm just gonna go back over it again. Maybe I'll do it in a different color so I can see what I'm doing and press harder. Wow, this is probably a great activity for kids, too. It's okay, this can be recorded. Till they get bored. No, but this is great, it's fun, I mean, I'm, my brain is sometimes Different like a kid. Age range. I was thinking my kids. So older kids, yes. Yeah, the mo the motor skills to follow the line. Older. Okay, so that it's interesting. Oh, you, you guys can see that I pressed a little bit harder on this one, and I did two different layers. So is that? Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna make this work. It, can they see my lines? Yeah. Okay. They're um. A little lighter on the middle. On the yeah. Okay, I'm gonna paint, it's okay, I'm gonna color it anyways. Um, so this is step three, Crayola Super Tips. I need to move this up a little bit. Have fun. Um, mix and match different colors. <coughs> what you are going to do is be a kid. Have fun, color. My only tip, you don't need to color in the entire leaf. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color, because we're going to add water and blend it out, I'm gonna add some color and then maybe I take, mm, it's not really dark enough, I'll try. So it's gonna look a little funky, but I promise it will look really cool when we blend it in. So do that, what other colors did I do? Oh, I'm gonna do a maple, I, the maple leaf one is red. Um, I usually like to outline it first, but you can color in the middle if you want. You can make these look more realistic if you would like. You can make them different colors. This would be a really fun project for, um, 
if you're having a Thanksgiving dinner, either their friends giving or your family members, um, and make them little place cards. Make them feel special. When I do this, I draw like little blades of grass. You can also just color in like this if you'd like. But the idea is to kind of make it a little bit more organic so it doesn't look like it's a straight line when we go to blend it. So I'm gonna add some color on the edges. Okay, we're gonna fast forward and I'm gonna just do a couple different colors. color that all in. You might see I wanted to see what it would look like where I did these half in this color. This is the rest color and this was the milk chocolate color. And then I just did other color combinations. I wanted to see what this one would look like with more white whereas these I filled in a little bit more um, and how that'll look with more white and the veiny look. Okay, step four. Water, magic. I mentioned this was on Bristol paper. Right? Yes, okay. Um, all I have is a little glass, little jar of water. And like I said, I have just around six, but you can use any brush that you have. And I have a paper towel right here. Um, try and avoid just dipping and then completely using so much water that it's just really drippy. Um, I would tap off to the side like Sarah does. You, you, need, you would need a damp brush. <laughs> need the <laughs> damp brush, um, not a soggy one. And so what we're doing is, is this a good spot? Yeah. Okay. You are just it hits there too, though. lightly grazing the cool. colors. And it blends. I You don't need to press very hard. I'm just kind of lightly pushing the colors around. You do it this direction to add the... So this is why this is so fun. If any kiddos are doing this, I'd love to see what you make. Um, when you have these line, oops, this line, if it's a harsh line and you don't like that, like that, what you could do is I call it massaging, kind of massage into it to blend it out. And then it'll be less of a harsh line. So it's okay to, if you need to dip more often, I'd rather you actually dip more often than have a really um, wet brush. So I kind of like the different color right there, how that's a little bit lighter. Um, this one is gonna look so cool. So that's why I left some spots white so that you could fill them in and there's a little bit of variance because when you have leaves, they're crinkled, they're not a solid color. Um, so by having the white spaces, you're gonna fill that in and it's gonna create a lighter color. And with the hold, you'll notice you can hold a paintbrush any different way. Um, sometimes, I hold it higher, sometimes I hold it closer, but don't worry too much about your grip, just allow yourself to be a kid, have fun, paint along. Um, I added, you can kind of see, I added the red and the maroon, cinnamon, starburst red, um, to also create a little bit of a different contrast, because I didn't want a solid red. I wanted to have a little bit of personality, some depth to it. And it's okay if it colors outside the lines. Ooh, that's kind of creating a bloom. That is cool. On accident. I love that. Um, okay. We're going to zoom on while I keep going. 
and you guys do it too. Okay, so I did that all. Um, it's, I hope you guys had fun with the water magic. Um, I realized though that I'm gonna keep going and when I use the paint pen, you're gonna want this to be completely dry. So you might need to pause, go a little snack break. Yes. Um, <laughs> and then we're gonna do the lettering on top of it. Um, Keenan yes. is going to use a heat gun that we used in the last video actually. Or if you have a hair dryer, you could do that too. Okay, we are ready. Heenan heat gun to this. That's why it's a little curved at the moment. Um, but we are ready to jam. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use a paint pen. If you've never used a paint pen before, I'm excited for you to try it out. This is a pretty gold one. Um, we're gonna do this again. This is before and this is after. So this is what it will look like. However, when you open it and you first get it, it will be this off-white color. What you need to do to get it started is you need to shake it for about 10 seconds um, and you'll hear that there's a little ball. This is probably really fun for kids too. Um, there's a little ball inside. This is the one, parents. I'm just saying this because I want to make sure. Um, I've read some things that, I don't know what it is, but this one is a different type of paint. So maybe be just with your kids when you're doing this. You Lead know what based. it is? Huh? Just prefacing that. <laughs> like you know. um, so shake it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if Keenan can do the side angle. Check. Okay. I'm going to push into this and you may pump a little bit but what's happening is that the pressure is either Keenan says releasing and is coming through eventually if it doesn't you might need to shake it a little bit more so the interesting thing is if you did the I was gonna say glass pane the acrylic sign project with us last week, I used the Posca paint pen. So this is a different brand. And so they all are a little bit different. The Posca ones, I realized, start a lot easier, where these ones, you kind of need to give it a little bit of love. Coax it. Coax it into working. Um, so you're not wrong or messing up if it's not working. Hmm. I hope I'm not wrong. You guys can see this is how long it will actually take. Um, Two hours later. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that might happen to you too. Um, it started to work. We're good. That was so funny. Um, I wanted to show you how it seeps through, but it seeped through with me shaking it. Always have the cap on. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, we're good to go. <laughs> so we're going to do your lettering. So have fun with this. Um, maybe you experiment and do like what I did. I'll show you how I did Keenan's name. Um, and draw your letters and take up, try and challenge yourself to take up the entire space. So when I did his name, I'm going to make this really tall. I left a little bit of room on these thick downstrokes. Hmm. I already, I talked too much and I don't know if your name's gonna fit. <laughs> so this is gonna be a challenge to make him very tall and skinny. And cause he has six letters in his name. So what I'm doing is I'm making I like little arms. Um, 
very short. K-E-E. -E. What I should have done is probably drawn his K a little bit more. That's all good. We're going to make it work. There's a, there's a kid movie called Meet the Robinsons. Yeah. Have you seen that? I've heard of it. Okay. So the in the movie, there's a part where a bad guy has this Tyrannosaurus Rex, and he's brainwashed him, so he speaks, and he does what he's told. And he goes, I'm a big head and little arms. And it's... Super funny. What did you say? I have a big head and little arms because he can't reach the kids that he's chasing. So his head's blocking him and his arms can't reach and it's hilarious. So that's what that made me think of. When I said that? The big head and little arms. <laughs> I could not understand you. Also, this looks like psychedelic kind of. That yeah. looks so cool. Okay. I made it work. His, the K is a little bit over, but that's, or a little bit more room over there, but that's okay. Um, and then for this one, I added a fun outline with a little bit. So I wanted to have a little bit of color still on the edge that I'm going to cut around. So I wanted to just add a little border so you could also do this. So we're going to do the gold first and then I'll show you how, do I want to, yeah. We're going to add Crayola Super Tips and add a little bit more color at the end. So maybe this doesn't do like that. Oh, that looks so cool. Um, I'm going to also show you how you can, let's see, for this one, whose name should I do? Um, oh, I'm going to do Raylene's name. I was just going to suggest that. Um, is there a fly in my hair? Yes. Thanks. <laughs> um, Raylene, this is for you. Thank you. She made me this amazing book um, that was I was floored by and very it was beautiful lettering all over. So I'm going to make this for her. Um, so you can also play. You don't have to do block letters. You can also do script lettering if you'd like. Um, and you don't have to take up the whole space. So let's. I'm going to show you. This is how I would do photography if I were to do her script name, R-A-E, I'm, I hope this is right, L, do you think this is right? Yes. Raylene. Okay, so this is what photography is. So I did it once, and so you'll notice that it's all one um, line thickness, and so that's okay if that's you, if you want to leave it like that. This is also a great pen if you're not comfortable with brush pens yet. Um, but what you can do is if you want to add that thick downstroke like brush pens mimic, we're going to do it after, which is what uh, photography is called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a line. So I'm essentially doing like what I did with Keenan's name. However, instead of leaving it open like that, I'm going to color it in. So it creates a thicker line. And then when it comes to curves, her name is a lot of curves actually. So what I want to show you is when it comes to curves is try and think of it as a gradual moon type of shape, like a crescent moon. So I'm going to go and start thin and then it gets a little bit thicker. Maybe this gets a little bit thinner right there rather and color that in. rather than that, just a line like that. That's actually a different kind of style, but this way this feels more like a gradual what your brush would naturally do rather than a hard stop. So on all of her curves, I'm going to do that. And the other thing they wanted to note is these letters are really small, so you don't have to add this really big line. All you can actually do is just kind of overlap over it just a little bit to the side of it. So it just makes it a little bit thicker. It doesn't need to be a lot thicker. That one I had a little bit of space, so I'm gonna color that in. And I didn't mention this in the other video, um, but with paint pens, they usually, if you keep going with it, you don't have to reshake it within it. The only time is if you let this sit and then tomorrow maybe you might need to reawaken it and reshake it. But while I'm doing this, the ink pretty much flows through. Um, there we go. So that's Raylene's. 
I am going to, did I do any other styles? Um, I'll show you guys how, I'll do Sarah's name one more time. Uh, I already talked about that. Um, who's another girl who I could think of? Um, Melanie, I'm gonna do your name. I know she's another member of our group. Um, I love M's too. M's are something that I can, I'm trying to think if I should teach about this. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna do script. Well, okay, interesting again. If her name was Mel, it would actually fit perfectly, but I did her M so big that it, if I were to do her name, all the letters that same exact size, I might get really close to the edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same concept of kind of squishing the letters so that I can fit them all in. They'll still look okay, but I'm gonna squish her letters so that they're tighter together. In addition to the spacing, this is actually a great lesson. I love it when a teaching moment ends up happening. Um, is, if you guys can see, they're kind of at different angles, but Raylene's name, if we're looking at the negative space, so the spacing in between the letters is a little bit wider, whereas on Melanie's name, they're a little bit, it's smaller. So not only are her this letters, because her name's long in the smaller space, not only are they more squished together, literally, but then the space between them is also squished. Did I say that right? <laughs> The, yes. the physical letter is skinnier, and the space between is smaller. Letters and spacing, smaller. Smaller. And my hand motions are smaller. <laughs> itty, bitty, tiny, bitty. itty bitty tiny. Um, and I'm going to just leave her name like that. I don't need to add the thick, thin and thick lines. Um, I'm going to do a few more, and we're going to fast forward. Oh, no or not, fake out because I wanted to show you, if you don't wanna use the paint pen or you don't have the paint pen, just use a darker marker, maybe the brown or the cinnamon. And I'm gonna do Brock's name. Oh. He didn't, he deserves a shout out, Brock. Um, what's Brock's title? Director, hmm. head honcho. Yeah, director. Um, I'm gonna give him, so, I'm gonna show you how you can press harder on these brush pens, <laughs> they're not brush pens, on these Crayola pens, and you can create a thicker line, or if you want, you can just press and get a thin line. So I'm gonna actually make this thicker. So you can get a thick and a thin line. So it depends on how, hard you press and it's personal preference and up to you. So when I look at this, it's because these are water based, they are a little bit more transparent. So I might go over and just do a second layer so that his name pops a little bit more since this is, the color is really similar. So you can already see the difference between the B and the R, or the BR and the rest of the letters. The BR and the AK. <laughs> Whoa, that looks cool. That looks cool. Um, okay, you know what? We're just gonna, I'm not gonna do them all. I just wanna keep going. Um, I'm gonna show you guys now, I'll do them later, um, how you can add some shadows and play around with things with your Crayola Super Tips. So for Keenan's name, I'm going, let's see, let me pick a lighter color. I'm going to color in the thick down spots of his name just to create a little bit of personality. Can you see that? I might need to yeah. do a darker color, yeah? Yep, it's subtle. Yeah, okay good, I actually like it. I didn't know if it was too subtle that you can't even tell that I did it. We don't need to add too much more personality. I've got that unlock. <laughs> um, true. That's what you can do with that name. For Raylene's name, I'm gonna add a little shadow. So maybe, let's see. Let's try this lighter brown. 
Ooh, yeah. So I'll show you two different ones. So this is a lighter color. So it's going to be a very subtle shadow. Can they see that? Yep. Notice it's light. It's light. And I kind of want it to be on this one to show. Um, but what I'm doing is whenever you add shadows, you always add it to the same spot. So in this one, I'm adding it to the left side of the letters because it's casting a shadow. It might be too late. I don't know. I want you guys to be able to see it. So you might do the same thing like I did with Brock's name and just go over it again. And the beautiful thing is that you're, I'm doing this quickly and you can see it's okay if you're even overlapping over the gold. It kind of creates a different personality to it too. Um, but if you want, you can also go over the gold again to do another layer. And then Melanie's name. Let's see. I think what else you can do. Oh, the other shadow that I was going to say is if you leave space in between. So instead of on this one, I had it kind of the shadow hug against the gold line. For this one, I'm leaving a little bit of space between. And then also, you'll notice is that because these letters are so close together, I actually didn't do it on the whole spot because the E kind of hits there. That works. Just kind of adding little notches to the shadow. Can you see that? It's really light. It looks like it's a, a larger distance away from the paper. In a good way or yeah, just really cool. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, so that's because there's space. Where's this one? Does this one feel closer? Yeah, that one feels closer. Yeah. Like it's just leaning. <laughs> the song that came into my head was the lean, would it rock, would it? I don't know if anyone's going to know the song. Rock, good. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, so those are two different personalities that you can create. Brock's name, have fun with it. I did this earlier, but I'm going to give him some, some dots. Brock's going to get some dots. So this is with the gold. I went back to the gold. Oh, that looks it's kind of like he's studded. Bedazzled. <laughs> Brock's bedazzled. That looks epic. Okay. That is step, what was that on my thing? Step six. Now, last step, cut them. So I'm going to, you can leave the leaves. Maybe there, maybe only four people are at this dinner table. Um, just cut away. We can zoom for this one. Um, and just cut. I'm trying to think if I have a, a tip on cutting. Do it safely? Well, yes, please do this safely. Maybe um, buy some child safety scissors because yes. they have those. I've taught with those. Get little kid scissors. Um, I guess one tip, I don't know if this is common knowledge. You can tell me if it's not. But I remember learning is I, my right hand is stationary. I'm right handed and I move along the curves my left hand. Oh, instead of using the scissors to move. Yeah, so I'm, it's kind of stationary in that way. I, for me, I feel like I have more control. I don't Interesting. know if people can still see. Now I want to see what you would naturally do. Do you know what you would? Yeah, I would definitely move the scissors. So you would stay this stationary. Yeah, and, and then... I would try and keep, I would try and hold that paper down. Oh, yeah. So I think that's probably what naturally some people do. Or I don't know. We'll see. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Oh, this makes interesting noises. How you use scissors. Lesson on scissors. Um, okay. Now zoom on. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, my hand's a little crampy. Um, we were saying scissors are kind of uncomfortable. They need to make cushions on scissors. They need bigger handles for the well, same size blades. Yeah, I'm small. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> new inventions. Um, I cut them all out. 
I'm so excited. You can see these are the different names, the different styles. So make this your own. And it's cool. Actually, it's, I'm glad I left some of them because you can see the different um, color rays that came off of it. Maybe you do leave some of them blank and you can even add more texture to them if you want at the end. Have fun with it. You have so many options. I'm excited to see what you create. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Lettering. And then we have an Instagram called Let's Go Make Art where you can tag us in there. We are a big community that loves to see what everyone does. Um, we do a different project every week together and we'll see you guys next week.